hello everyone welcome back welcome back this is going to be for scorpio scorpio hello we're just going to tap into your energy spiritually to see what we have for today so this is going to be an energy pull for those of you who this resonates with go ahead and like the video here in the yt but if it doesn't resonate i will have your playlist linked below in the description For those of you who are interested in a personal reading, I also have all that information in the below section of the video. So if you want to contact me, the email address is there and also the prices beforehand. Scorpio's energy, divine. What's going on for Scorpio? Slow process, Scorpio. Slow process. This is what I'm hearing, especially when it comes to the things that you're trying to plan for yourself. This is what I'm hearing. I feel like you do want to be successful here. But, and I feel like you're going to be working at it. Look at this, the Eight of Pentacles. We also have the Devil's Energy. But some form of way of thinking is holding you back. Your energy is holding you back. And that's the secret for you. I feel like it's going to be some kind of hard work to success in this life nothing is going to be given to you you're going to have to put in the work here here to actually make your success and if you do that and re like this negative force of thinking needs to go to the side this could be trauma from childhood this could be people telling you that you're never going to be enough you're never going to be someone you know if you have an idea someone put it down making you feel silly and making you feel like you need to stay where you are within this situation within this negative you know environment whatever you might be like that's where you belong and you need to delete this force of energy this is what's holding you back here once you do that i'm seeing this is going to be a victory for you but your victory comes with work this is what i'm seeing better in yourself moving up on the ladder and i'm seeing money for those of you I'm seeing like a follower, a following, I should say. So for those of you who are in internet or your, your job is basically on the computer, you could be an influencer, um, you could be a YouTuber, you could be, you know, something like that, a TikToker. <laughs> but your success is going to be not overnight you're not going to be one of those people that upload a video and then you're going to be successful um you're not going to be one of those people that um you know going to go to an audition for some acting gig or some tv show and you're going to get it i'm seeing like you're going to go through a lot of trials and tribulations a lot of rejection 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 and this is just a part of you, what you signed up for, a part of your contract. And that is okay. Because within all of that, you're going to have all the what I need to do, what I don't need to do to get the job and to better yourself. And a lot of you, it's like, it's either two things that I'm seeing here. It's like, it's either you take this experience, this, all these rejections and make good use of it and be stronger and better yourself or you're going to take these rejections and fall into some kind of dark hold and feel like oh you're never enough you're never going to be enough kind of vibe and this is what i'm seeing here so you have two different options here okay tell me about scorpio's energy divine holy spirit what is Scorpio's energy? Scorpio's lovely energy. What are we pulling today for Scorpio? Wow, I got this yesterday. I don't know if I got this for you. But it's coming up again, you guys. I think it was you that I got the 39 card for. Like, I think it was. <laughs> but if not, you got it today. One more. Holy Spirit, one more. You have a dark angel around you, protecting you. And I feel like this is also about 
you know, feeling like there's not a lot at the end of the tunnel because you have been going through so much trials and tribulations within your life. Also, so much transitions, so many changes, and it's all okay. I feel like you, it was in your last moment. Ooh, look at this. You even have the clown energy, okay? You might be scared of a change, but just know that number 12 here, every journey starts with a single step. Also coming up for you, you're packed. Your angels are around you. These are also your ancestors. Look at the divine light all over you. Beautiful energy, Scorpio. You are transitioning to something new. Again, <laughs> don't be afraid within this energy. You have your angel guiding you and also being with you and giving you this feeling of what is consistent within your, your, your energy and what is not. So in this moment, you might just feel like you have some kind of telepathic power where people might be lying to you or dishonest to you or in that moment you feel like you're being gifted or told that this is wrong or you feel that this is wrong. So you're highly protected anytime something dark is happening within your life. And when it's too much for you, your angel of darkness kind of rescue you out of that situation. So know that you're not alone. Free from judgment, free to love. For those of you, I speak up about this yesterday when I had this card. I'm not sure if it was your reading or Gemini's reading, but here is the same energy coming out again. And I feel like a lot of you were judged for who you loved. Um, had a hard time because maybe this person didn't make enough. Maybe you went to college and had your degree and this person came from some kind of, you know, poverty or something that they struggled with. Maybe their family wasn't from a good family for those of you. Maybe you are being forced to love someone that you're not in love with. Maybe you're being forced to get married to someone that you're not, that you don't want to get married to. Knowing that my audience is all around the world, okay? Um, maybe this was an er arrangement and you already had your eyes on someone and it's just so hard and you're afraid to stand up because you're afraid to be disowned you're afraid to be judged you're afraid to be unloved you're afraid of being on your own because you don't you don't know how to be on your own but I feel like what the secret is about your situation if this is your situation or if you have been with someone that is married or uh, you're being judged for that or you've been with someone that already has someone um, or this could be someone that is you know the same sex and you're being judged for that are you just coming out you know and people are shook and can't believe what's what's going on here right so whatever your situation might be the thing about this is your angels are right behind you your divine is right behind you the holy spirit is embedded in your life, in your heart, in your being, in your situation. And once you step out to stand up for yourself and to move forward in the unknown, everything is going to be provided to you and you need to believe in that. It's like you're at a crossroads in your life and you have to choose, stay here, be okay with whatever you are dealing with now, or take the new path that the angels are showing you, which is kind of scary. Um, you might, for those of you, you might want to find out everything you, you want to find out before jumping into something, but that's, that's not what the lesson is about. Because if you're trying to find out everything before stepping into something that, never, that you never tried before, when it comes to a new beginning for you, you're kind of living in fear, aren't you? You're kind of choosing fear over love. Um, so I'm seeing that moving forward in that direction, you're going to have everything lined up for you because you have to, once you trust within the Holy Spirit, 
you are going to be guided to everything everything it's time to heal it's time to restore this is what i'm seeing a lot of you been through a lot of disappointments a lot of mental and physical agony your guy curled up in a ball here like you need time to ray you need time to rest you guys the camera just cut off not realizing that i had gone over 10 minutes <laughs> but like i said right here you need time to ray you need time to rest you need time to heal whatever mental and physical agony that you experienced within the ten of swords the nine of swords energy a lot of depression a lot of anxiety just a lot of toxic traits here that you're trying to release you know just really having so much to think about going back and forth within your mind here and you're like in the process of like okay i need to distance myself from everyone so you're taking a step back you're restoring your soul you're put like establishing your life And I feel like within this fool's here, it's like you are, you realize that you have been guided throughout your life. This fool's card is very, I kind of like covered the boobs area, but it's like somebody was playing the puppet master here, you know, and controlling your life or you felt like you never took because you're scared to jump into something. So it's like you never took a path on your own something was always controlled within your life someone always had control and the energy that i'm picking up for you is scorpio to take control of your life and this is what i have for you for pulling your energy i hope that it resonates and if it does you know what to do you guys like this video support the channel and i'll see you guys in your next read Gemini's energy. What's going on for Gemini's energy? What's the energy for Gemini's? Oh, someone is spying. Spying on you and release. Wow. So a lot of you are definitely going through a transition where I'm seeing the spying card and release. I feel like someone is definitely not over you. Someone is watching you. Someone is obsessed with you. I feel like this person is trying to find out like when to approach you. This is what I'm seeing here. There's a lot of growth and moving on within this release energy. For some of you, you could be dealing with a Scorpio energy, a transformation, a growth, a development, a release form of energy. So get ready because I feel like this person is not going to be taking Taking so long to actually show themselves knowing that they're obsessed with you <laughs> and they're also might be on your social media looking at you and seeing that you're happy and just like judging things on the outside looking in